video is going to be on how you can take MDF files from earlier versions of MicroStation and bring them into MicroStation Connect Edition. So this is going to be a three-part video. Part one is going to be getting the MDF to XML utility from the Bentley website and using it to convert the MDF files to XML files. Part two is going to talk about how we use MicroStation V8i and we're going to import those XML files that we converted from the MDF into the V8 files using MicroStation V8i. And then we'll verify that worked. Part three is going to be once we've got these XML files, how do we get those into MicroStation Connect? First thing is going to be where do we get this MDF utility, MDF to uh, XML utility? And I'll provide the links here. This is up on the Bentley website and you will need to sign in to be able to download the files and there's all kinds of files here the one we're interested in is right over here this is mdf to xml utility now you may uh, also need to be able to bring in sidebar menus so there also is a sidebar to xml um, utility but we're going to be focusing on the mdf to xml file once we've got that downloaded and installed i'll give you also another link on how we can use this. It's a pretty straightforward process and it does have an instructions on how to run it from a DOS screen, but the other way to do it is just to drag and drop and that's what I'm going to show you. So we'll go ahead and minimize the browser and the first thing we're gonna look at here, and I have downloaded this already and I've extracted it here and here's the executable for it. And this is gonna be my MDF file, my sample MDF file. And the simplest way to do this is just to take it and drag and drop the file right onto the EXE. You'll see a DOS screen flicker. Voila, you now have an XML of that file. So now that we've got that converted, uh, that's part one. The next part is going to be using MicroStation V8i and how we can import that XML. Now we're gonna be in MicroStation V8i and we're gonna to need to open up a DGN library file. Uh, it, this is, MicroStation is configured to look to certain DGN lib files for customization. So you're gonna to have to check to make sure that the file you're opening up can't just be located anywhere. It's gotta be what we call a configured DGN lib file, one that MicroStation is configured to look to. So this file right here, I've created this as an example, import MDF example dgn lib and this happens to be in a folder where I've got a MicroStation configured to look. So I'm going to go ahead and open this file up. And once we've got MicroStation open, I'm going to go ahead and go to my workspace, pull down, I'm going to go to customize. Now in the customize dialog box, what we're looking for when we import is for something on the menu bar here to, uh, to be added. Now I've got some other stuff that's already showing up in mine, this in green here, that means it was added. These are not in my file, they're light green. If they were in my file, they would show up as uh, bold green. So what we're gonna be doing is importing. We're gonna go to the file pull down, and there's an option right there to import. And then we're gonna choose from XML file. I'm gonna select that. And then it's going to ask me where it is and what it is that I want to import. So I'm going to go ahead and click the browse icon. And then I'm going to navigate to the location. In this case, I've created a folder, convert MDF to XML. You can see there's the time that I just created this. So there's my file. I'm going to select it, click open. And again, you can choose if you have element templates, things like that, and you have detail symbols, styles, things like that. We're mainly concerned about main menu customization. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Give it a moment and voila. There are my menu bar items. And you can see they're gonna appear up at top here. This is where the menu bar items are. So now that I've got this in a DGN lib file, that's part two. So now I've verified, I see them come across like this. And if you wanted to make any edits to it, things like, for example, if there's something underneath here that was not in a prior version, but now it's just built into MicroStation Connect Edition, you may want to edit it and say, well, we don't need that because it's just built into the software. 
So now we've verified that. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a close. So here's the file that I've just imported that into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy that file. Now I need to open this up in MicroStation Connect Edition. So obviously it's a different version of MicroStation and that version of MicroStation is looking to a different location on my machine for DG and Libs. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I've got this open already. This is where I've told MicroStation Connect Edition to look for my DG and Libs. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it there. Now I already have a couple of other ones there. We don't have to worry about those. So now I've got that in there. And I can go ahead and close P8i. And I've got MicroStation Connect Edition already open. And I've already told it to go look in that folder. So I'm just going to hit Browse. Okay, we've got this open. Now we see it there. I'm going to go ahead and open up. Now we're into part three. So part three is going to be how do we use MicroStation Connect Edition to bring it in? So I'm going to go up here to the top, anywhere along the ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and right click. I'll get some options and customize ribbon is one of them. That's what I'm looking for there. So I'm going to select that. And this has opened up my customized ribbon dialog. Now, where you want to import the MDF information or the menu bar information, you're going to have to make some decisions. You may want to add it uh, to the quick access toolbar at the top. That's an option. Or you may want to add it to a ribbon. So if I choose quick access toolbar, there's my quick access toolbar. And just so you know, that's what these icons are up here. So I'm going to have it added to a ribbon. And in this case, we have workflows. And I've created a, uh, a one workflow as an example, BPA workflow. I'm going to create a new one. And workflows up here in the top left this is where you can control what ribbon what tools you see which tabs so for example if i choose task navigation this will change my ribbon so if i create a new workflow which i can or i can open up an existing doesn't matter i'm going to create a new one and we'll call this main tools now that i've got this workflow i'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to go add a new tab. I'm going to say My Tools. Now, how do I get those MDF or menu bar items over? What I'm going to do is go up here under Choose Components, slide on down here to Menu Customization. And when you see all of these, what these are is what is coming from the MDF file that was exported to an XML. And now I imported them into a DGN using V8i. And now I can see them in MicroStation Connect Edition. So if I wanted to, I could say, well, let's go ahead and take the print and plot. And I can just drag that over and put it right on top of it like that. And now it shows up underneath. Let's just go ahead and drag over another one. Drag it right on top. you got to make sure you're right on top because if you're a little bit off, you get a red circle. People, they see that and they go, oh, no. And then sometimes what happens is the add arrow doesn't show up. So I know if I drag and drop, I'll be good. Now we're going to go ahead and hit apply. Give it a moment. We see a refresh. We're going to come up here to my workflows. I now see main tools as a workflow. And now I see those different uh, items that were brought across. Now there's not icons. This is not a very um, pretty interface, but it is a way of getting those menu bars over uh, without having to do any programming or customization or anything like that. So hope this has been beneficial. And if you have any comments, um, go ahead and put them down there on the video and I'll address them as I can. Other than that, enjoy.